Wow, we have some massive news on Tesla. Unbelievably, and finally it has come. Tesla has joined the S&P 500 and other indices. Let's discuss what this means for the stock. Taking a look, it's obviously great news, but just how much money can we make off of this amazing event? I made a video discussing Tesla's S&P 500 inclusion just a couple months back, and wow, it is finally here. Before I dive in, my name's Henry, and I work at Goldman Sachs and Wall Street, and I like to make my audience stupid rich, so all I ask is you smash the like button and subscribe to the dopest YouTube family. All right, so the S&P 500, Dow Jones Indices announced today that Tesla will join the S&P 500 effective prior to trading on Monday, December 21. Tesla shares are up over 12% after hours on this big news. The makeup of the S&P 500 is determined by what's known as the Index Committee at the S&P Dow Jones Indices. Inclusion in the index is based on quantitative as well as qualitative factors, and it's no surprise Tesla screened through both the numbers and the reputation to be included in these indices. According to the S&P Dow Jones indices, there's over 11.2 trillion in assets benchmarked to the S&P 500, with roughly 4.6 trillion of the total in indexed funds. Do you guys know why this is such a big deal? Well, because so many investors are passive and invest in indexes, companies outside of an index don't get as much love. So now that Tesla is entering these indices, it's going to receive a huge inflow of cash from the passive investor. And by the way, this isn't going to just benefit Tesla for this one moment in time, it's going to continuously benefit Tesla as people all over, specifically the United States and also around the world, add to their pensions, their retirement accounts, and their 401ks because it automatically gets put into Tesla stock if Tesla is part of the S&P 500 or other indices. Inclusion in the benchmark that gauges the US stock market requires an accumulation of four consecutive quarters of net profit. Tesla has strung together five for the first time in history. Tesla in the third quarter delivered a record nearly 140,000 cars and is on pace to hit a target of 500,000 vehicles delivered for the year. This goal, not long ago, seemed completely impossible by the bears. Tesla was overlooked for inclusion in the index in September, briefly halting Tesla's dramatic share price increase. The index didn't really elaborate on its reasoning at the time, but some analysts pointed to the company's heavy reliance on regulatory credits to pretty much raise its bottom line. The inclusion now also means that Tesla is viewed as less risky of a company overall. So there is essentially a two-fold benefit. More investors will have their money poured into Tesla, whether they are bulls or not, and the risk of the company is now perceived as lower by Wall Street and other investors. I'm glad that the S&P committee came to a census because it just didn't make any sense that a company that has a market cap of over $400 billion is not included in the major indices. As you can see here, the 100th company in the S&P 500 is Equinox followed by Goldman Sachs at a spot above at 99th position. In fact, Tesla's market cap when it arrives in the S&P 500 is going to be above Visa and below Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway at number eight. It's almost weird that Tesla is not included in the index yet after this amount of time. Even if you think about it and you think that Tesla's valuation is four times too high, it would still be one of the biggest companies in the US at $100 billion. And it would make so much sense for it to be in the S&P 500 regardless. Now, I don't know if the stock's reaction is appropriate to simply be added to the index, but we're only talking about after hours trading right now. It could totally change tomorrow. It will be interesting to see what happens tomorrow morning when the markets do open. However, I would not be surprised to see this stock go up upwards tremendously because of this new news. It's going to be more interesting to see how the market reacts tomorrow because when trading actually opens, that's when investors start to pile in to Tesla stock. Back when Tesla announced its stock split, the stock rose to over $500 per share and ended the day at $498 per share on August 31st. I'm not sure if it will go up that high again, but it does look like a lot of investors are being optimistic and we can get certainly close because we're already at $463 as you look at the after hours. The biggest deal is over the subsequent months though, and as we go into the holiday season, the stock will have more investor enthusiasm, but also more likely report more good news on sales. Tesla has been gaining popularity, but I think this holiday season 
could prove to be better than expected. All Tesla really has to do is announce over 500,000 vehicles sold in addition to this inclusion event, and we could be looking at a half trillion dollar company on its way to a top five company by market cap. $500 per share is reasonable by this year. However, we will have to see what happens tomorrow since stocks are random and impossible to completely predict. However, I am super confident that this is the news that investors have been waiting for that will fuel Tesla's stock price and grow the company's stock. Option trading is also super profitable on Tesla and I expect the volatility to increase despite the good news because while well, the stock is picking up and it creates a lot of opportunities for traders and option traders specifically are going to view the stock as more volatile for the time being. Maybe I'll do some spread trading tomorrow on Discord and post that on YouTube if this video gets enough likes. So make sure you drop a like. Thanks for watching. I'll make sure to give you guys an update tomorrow on Tesla stock because this is a massive event that we're gonna wanna take advantage of. I'll see you back here soon. Have a great day.